look at all. Suddenly, an exodus across Russia's borders. Social media now filled with images like these near the country's southern frontiers of vehicles backed up out of sight. Everyone is on the run from Russia, the male voice says. Endless cars, it's mind-boggling. In the west, towards Finland, border officials also reporting significantly higher traffic. Nearly 5,000 crossing in a single day, and more expected by the weekend, as Russians make for the exits. Across Russia, there's a growing sense of alarm, even anger, at the call-up of reservists to fight in Ukraine. More than 1,300 protesters have already been detained, many of them women, terrified their husbands and sons will be killed. I've got two kids of conscription age, says this protester. I brought them up alone and I don't want to lose them, she cried. And for what, asks her friend? Yeah, just so they can kill the sons of other mothers, she answers. But the mobilization is taking place regardless. Images of reservists like these boarding a military transporter in the Russian Far East show how many are heeding the call to arms. At assembly points, families are saying emotional goodbyes before their men, some apparently in middle age, are bust away. As what was always cast as a limited special military operation feels more and more like a full-blown war. Matthew Chance, CNN, London.